Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 11 computer is experiencing a no sound output coming out of your speakers after performing an update. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager here. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the sound, video, and game controller section, and then right-click on your high-definition audio device and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer-specific one, I recommend going with that. Otherwise, select the only option in here, so just a generic high-definition audio device in our case. And then select Next. Select Yes. Close out of here. Would recommend also making sure your speakers are turned on down your system tray, as well as physically turned on. So if you have a USB connected speakers, make sure the power is turned on, it's working properly, and that the volume dial is turned up so that you should hopefully be able to hear it. So again, that's something I would strongly recommend trying here, guys. Also, you can open up the start menu again, search for control panel, go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then you want to select sound. Select the playback tab, and then if you have multiple devices in here, make sure it's turned on. So select the speaker you want to use as your output. Set as default if there are more than one option here, so make sure it's set as default. You can select the configure button as well to go ahead and test your speakers, as well as selecting the properties button. And if you go over to advanced, you can also allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. You want to keep that check marked in there. Spatial sound, we're keeping that off. And you can also just go back to Restore Default by selecting the Restore Default button. Select OK, and then OK again. A further thing you can try here as well would be to open up the Start menu, type in Troubleshoot. Best match, come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select Other Troubleshooters. And then you want to select underneath Most Frequent, select Playing Audio, and then the Run button, so go ahead and select that. And then once that's done, you go ahead and just follow along with the on-screen prompts. And that should hopefully be about it, guys. So, again, restart your computer, and hopefully it would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you could try would be to open up the Start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Should be as simple as that. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.